All right. All right. So I should um, let's let, let's spend some time while we wait for people to drop in. Hey, Quentin, how's it going? Rearranging the the list here. Let's arrange the chat. Hey, Yatsky. I'm all good, Quentin. Now that you are here, hey, hey, Captain Bose, my sweet little pudding. <laughs> hey, Louis, the awesome. How's it going, man? Oh man, that's so funny. So purpose. That you gotta be a second one. Form lines light shadows. That's just the same silhouette, composition of shapes, rhythm, materials functionality. Yes. Mm. <laughs> All right. So, so I I got some a cool little thing to show you guys. It's not like amazing, but I I I was um, watching James Zapata paint, and he he had come up. <laughs> uh, he had come up with a, a cool solution to painting with shadows which I thought was was something I got to try today it is kind of like if you guys remember last year at the beginning of season two no season one even whoa um, my cat is doing something um, I, I set up like color balance like for the light shadows and then desaturation layer and then I painted underneath so whatever I sampled was desaturated and I painted just with grayscale and I had like a gradient uh, tweak on top um, well, but what he had done which was a really cool thing which I'm gonna do today um, is as follows so he had made a layer filled it with white set it to multiply and then uh, locked the layers to that layer under, uh, under uh, above underneath the multiply underneath and he had a lowered opacity of it to like 70 something so he had a fully white layer set to multiply and he had layers on top um infinite amount you know it doesn't matter on top so that now that anything i'll paint is going to be on multiply which is on 70 percent on white so that white will be nuked kind of it's a really cool little thing and uh, I'm gonna try it uh, usually I paint the opposite right I paint the light but today I'm gonna paint the shadows and see, see where that goes hey art 3s91 welcome have you followed have you clicked that follow button where is it it's up there all the way let me try to reach with my hand <laughs> it won't won't work but anyways so that that's the that's the, the idea for today um, so going by that um, checklist awesome man so going by that uh, checklist mental image narrative presentation kind of like what's the purpose those kind of things then we'll go down the, 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 the list right so what should I draw with the shadows he drew a uh, space opera link but I'm doing sci-fi, so let's do, let's do kind of like a uh, smoking assassin. Hey, Zillin, hey, yo. All right, let's go. Okay, so what's cool with this, like you see, um, 
and he said it doesn't matter because it's on multiply but it's locked um, oh yeah it, it constantly needs to be locked so I need to do an, a dummy layer on top so now I can just spam new uh, layer all right excellent Quentin, you're you're too advanced. I'm I'm completely lost. <laughs> I need to go back and read what you're actually saying. Um, I have no idea at the moment. <laughs> I, I'm I'm assuming it's like to unify uh, layers, uh, shadows, similarly. But you see now, like I'm painting with white, and it's uh, and it's just not going white, it's just going to the background, which is super nice. Um, so my mental image, what I saw, was this guy leaning forward with kind of smoke coming off him. Um, and uh, his, his outfit was layered with circles, um, like he was uh, segmented in a way, in a weird way. Obviously, I don't want to go uh, fantasy, with the, the outfit, the, with the shapes, but uh, he, the, my mental image of this character was like his dodgy, uh, dark head, um, and had like layers, circular stuff. So he was kind of embedded in a way, in his outfit, and he was, in shadow on that side. Uh, Quentin, yeah, please do, or just we can have a chat afterwards um, on Discord, and you can show me on the screen. You know what would be cool? Like, so he's uh, he's smoking, right? So why is he smoking? Maybe he's like a bomb guy, a bomb assassin. Could give him stuff um, and I have to say is it upping the saturation I have no idea um, I have to say um, I'm, you see it is gaining uh, yeah, this this is the flaw here. He uh, James Zapata, he painted just with black and white all the time, uh, and I'm sampling a lot when I'm painting. This is going to be a problem. So what I'm going to do is desaturate on top. So now it's just not. I'm just not going to gain the colors. Can I sample that and uh, no idea really how this works? How how he just paints with black and white? That's right, and then he he doesn't sample. Oh well. Hey, Chilstrand. Hello. And Zealin. I just said Zealin. Good morning to you. How dare you say it twice? All hail Queen Mila. She has arrived. Uh, looking at James Zapata paint, I'm yet again reminded of how fast I paint. <gasps> how dare you. I always forget like the rate that I paint at and, and 
kind of like how 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 I am a bull in a China uh, shine China store, uh, just kind of rah, running around like a madman, while James is like carefully sitting there and like painting and rethinking and artistic swooshy lines, and I'm just like rah, <laughs> vomiting on the canvas like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. It's true. If you look, go look at how he paints, he's like, oh, this just calm. And he but had been sitting there for hours and hours, and I just go, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Ricky Martinez. How's it going? You have such a... Uh, 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 famous musician name. Oh, it's Ricky Martinez with his latest single, Shake That Booty. So it's really interesting this overlay thing, but he like didn't have the issues of of sampling valley or, or hue. I need to go go back and look at what he was how he set it up because well maybe I'm just complicating overcomplicating things or maybe I'm just too dirty. Maybe he's super clean. But it was really cool to see him. Uh, pain again. I really missed him, and and I I was hosting it. So if you guys managed to catch that, that's cool. But he's a great artist. I really love his style and how how he take care of how he builds his image. As in, not as in, not like persona, but as in painting. Uh, why are you hated in the art industry, Ricky Martinez? Uh, I was talking about James Zapata. Zapata. He got mad skills, yo. And seeing him constructing his image it's, it's very interesting it's very very interesting and he does some really amazing illustrations he's such a great illustrator for anyone who doesn't know you gotta go and check him out but you, you all know probably who James Zapata is yeah Piotr is also another crazy guy like his he his paintings he said take six to eight days to paint which is interesting to see or to to know so obviously he takes his time does it correctly plans it you know it's not just a 30 minute sketch like I did. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so uh, he James Zapata, he's it's his just name in one at Twitch. You know, just Google him and you'll find him, or not Google, but uh, search on him here on Twitch and uh, you'll find him. I also hosted him. Um, I host him every time he goes uh, online uh, on on Twitch. Um, so keep an eye out uh, if you if you don't have the energy to go and uh, search for him. But he's the, he does really really amazing art. Love his way of painting. Uh, he's a really cool guy as well. 
I'd lo- I loved meeting him at uh, IFCC and having drinks with him. He was just sitting there with sunglasses on like a boss. <laughs> He's a cool guy. Very friendly. Like a boss. Just to remind you guys, um, because there was someone talking about it uh, at on Zapata's uh, stream, that there is clip function on uh, Twitch. So if you see something or hear something um, that you want to kind of like, oh, I wish I saved that section, you just click click the clipboard in the stream window. There's a clipboard, and you click that, and you'll open a second uh, tab. And on the second tab, you can um, you get sliders. You can adjust uh, which segment you want to clip. It's like f- only a minute back in time um, from when you click that button, uh, and then you clip. You can clip it up, uh, like publish it, and it attaches to your account, but it also attaches to my account because you clipped. Uh, in this instance, then you clipped uh, from my stream, um, so that'll I'll have it on my clips section above, but also on your own because you are the one clipping it. Um, so it's a great way if you if you watch a lot of streamers, and then they say something or do something that you want to save, just do that, and it'll it'll be forever on on uh, on Twitch. Or not forever. I mean, obviously, you can delete it if you want. But it's a cool little function. Oh, Ricky Martinez, really? Yeah. Um, Raposa, he, uh, we, we know each other from way back. I've never met him in person, though, but... Uh, we know about each other's art. He's he was in, in conceptart.org. We've crossed paths now and then. He's a cool guy. Very friendly. Oh, really, Atsuki? Oh, that's cool. So you can just go back. Uh, if there's something that you liked, you remembered, you go back and clip that from that. That That's, that's cool. That's great. Thanks for that, Atsuki. I didn't know that. It was good to know. So this is kind of straying away from my internal image. Uh, on my mental image that I had uh, starting out, um, but I think it's okay. I'm just kind of enjoying the the process of experimenting with this uh, shadow shadow approach that I saw on James James channel. I'm kind of butchering the butchering it though because James were. I mean, obviously he he had been there for hours. But he was it's a really interesting technique. I keep I'm not as elegant with it because it's first attempt. Uh, obviously he's he he's very used used to using that uh, this way of thinking. So it's just me needing to to kind of get accustomed to it. But it's a really nice little way of, of doing things actually. I might I might try to steal this just this setup uh, because it does give you 
a boost to presentation in a way. But I gotta I gotta fine tune it to my way of painting a little bit more. I think. But he was talking all sorts of cool stuff about um, technique, actually. So I took the opportunity to ask him some questions about these setups. And he showed some illustrations that he had used with gradient maps and, and all these things. So it was really nice. He's a good guy. Yeah, he's good at that. He's, well, it's obviously just uh, shape searching. I do that all the time, especially during these warm-ups when, when you have like a mental image and you, you try to grasp it with lines and accidents. Uh, you roll with ac uh, happy accidents. Yeah, it, uh, on this technique though, it's easy to just kind of redo Children, yeah, uh, a random ad that cut the stream. Um, I think it's Twitch who change are changing up the way they do ads. Um, and uh, there's there's nothing I can do about ads. Um, unfortunately, it's their project, their platform. You know, there's no control of, over ads in, in, in Twitch settings. Like, I want it to be ad free. <clears throat> it won't work. You know, so, I, I, I can't do anything about it. It is what it is. You, I guess they gotta pay for the platform somehow, you know, because there's you can stream in such great quality, uh, great community stuff. You know, they, they need to earn their money somehow. And if, if that is just looking at an ad for 10 seconds or whatever it is, I think it's uh, it's a pretty decent trade-off, to be fair. But it, it's never fun to be interrupted by an ad. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, it is what it is. Uh, one thing... which might might change next year when I do season three is I'm gonna I think I'm gonna start to being an affiliate I think I'll activate it I've had it for the whole of season two but not activated um, so I, I need to do some research about ads because I know that w when you're an affiliate you you get a I assume you get a cut of the ads because you're kind of partnering, right? But it, I wonder if that, in that, then um, if I can control when the ads are or what the ads are. I have no idea. I would have loved, I would love to have control. Ricky Martinez. Oh no, I have, I have, I have the invite to be an affiliate, beginning in, in January, beginning of January this year already.
I just didn't like the idea uh, that um, you, you're not allowed to put it on YouTube. Like exclusivity thing. But I guess it's a question of, of uh, where where's where do you want to put effort? You know what's the traffic on 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 YouTube versus um, versus uh, Twitch? Uh, what's where is it worth uh, worth it? So I think for season three of a tournament warm up, uh, some things are going to change. I got to try to plan it. Uh, you know, new, new intro, outro, um, attempt at a new setup of the stream, uh, affiliate, uh, ideally controlling ads to some degree of when or how or what those ads are. I'm hoping. I'm not sure if I, I will be allowed to, but I would I would love to be able to control what you guys if you're gonna have to see an ad, what that ad is about, you know. But I doubt I doubt that they will allow me to, for that control. Because I hate, and there's nothing worse than just seeing an idiot ad that has nothing to do with anything. Oh, hopefully so far. Right, so it's like a week by week uh, topic list. Oh, that could be cool. I guess. I mean, every day when I, I update uh, with my warm up, uh, I write the word of the day. Yeah, I mean, doing dailies and the topic, I've done it for two years now. It's just that no one cares. <laughs> Nobody loves me. Uh, you guys love me. Oh. Hey, Yoms, how's it going? Nice of you that you could make it though, even though you are late. Better late than never, as they say. I really appreciate you guys coming every day, hanging out with me while I'm doing my warm up and we're having fun and talking. It's great. It's like a coffee shop. Talked about it before. It's it's awesome. Makes me really happy. Ricky Martinez. Yeah, I know it's very late in 
the states in America. It's not the best time to stream for America. America. I'm unsure about this technique um, and if I'm doing it the right way. It's a, it's a, it was a fun experiment. I'm unsure if, if it's of any use for me. It does something. It does act in a very specific way, which is fun to do. By the way, uh, shout out to Dado on Discord. He wrote an article uh, yesterday about some thoughts he had about presentation and uh, design versus design plus setting kind of thing. So you can find it, in, I think he posted it in general. So if you guys want to go read that on his website, it was a simple little thought, but it was a good thought. And I think it's, uh, it's a good thing to think about when, you, when, when sketching, especially stuff like this, when it Presentation is a part of the the whole thing, you know, because you're putting effort into painting with light and setting and so on, and it's easy to to not uh, take that take the presentation part the whole way. You know, like what it what what's the purpose of the drawing and all those things. You know, if you check the checklist. Better never the late, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit Prometheus, a little bit uh, Mars attack for sure. <laughs> hey, Captain Jetlag. How's it going? Ricky Martinez. Then uh, check out uh, this week and last week's um, warm up warm-ups. Um, if you want to go catch them all, they're on YouTube. The link is underneath the window. Um, I've been talking about design and presentation and uh, like my thought process this whole time. Kind of, it's nothing new, uh, but I'm kind of walking myself through the thought process. Um, so if that's something you want to kind of listen in on. I mean, obviously, it's quite a few hours of, of ranting, but each episode is only 30 minutes, you know, so it's it's a little bit easier to deal with. Um, you know, you can, you can bite-size it. Cool. Cheers, Ricky Martinez. Uh, so, in that in the YouTube link there, there's special streams as well. Um, these longer streams where I do paint overs and feedback, and there's a portfolio review episode a while back. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff there on YouTube, uh, a way larger archive than on uh, on Twitch here. So that might be something uh, worth checking out. I, I I was reminded again from uh, James Zapata the the how subtleties are so important and how he he just does brushstroke undoes brushstroke undoes until he finds like yeah that's the one I like 
And they're very subtle changes, but they, they do a, such a huge difference. And I am yet reminded of, of, of my kind of brute force approach of just, uh, just vomiting all over the canvas and him being so uh, thoughtful in his marks. I think in general, though, that's way more how people paint. And I'm, I'm just the, the weird guy, um, the odd one out, <laughs> comparatively um, to, in general, how, you, uh, how one would paint. I think that's why my old nickname suits me well, which was uh, Hurricane, uh, you know, be on hurry, hurry, cane, ho, ho. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm just all over the place most of the time which you know that's fine I'm not gonna try to change that but there's always things to learn and seeing him being so thoughtful uh, definitely made me think second guess a little bit you know like am I doing it the right way am I you know obviously I'm having fun doing it my way so that, that part won't change too much. Ricky Martinez, yeah. I, I was. Uh, Ricky Martinez, this is episode 219. <laughs> You can oh just run. And uh, two two nineteen of this year. There was around two hundred something uh, from last year. So I think I'm approaching almost three hundred and eighty episodes, maybe. So there is some catching up to do. All right, that's it for today. It was an interesting experiment. Experimenting. Um, I'm not sure I will do this specific uh, technique again. I think I would, it's easier to just paint my way. I think he is way more deliberate and, and it doesn't suit me as good as it, it suits him, but it was a really good, uh, experiment. And if you guys want to try that out, it's, um, you make a layer, set it to multiply, fill it with white and lower the opacity, and then uh, hold down Alt and click the space in between the layers and you click that space and you will lock the layer and uh, and everything you paint will go through the filter of the multiply set to you know so you won't never have white white so you can you guys can try that uh, if you want it's a interesting thing N personally me I, I, I I'm way too sporadic or, or hectic uh, but it was a great experiment. So thanks everyone for joining in. Um, have a great day. Good night. Uh, see you guys tomorrow at the same time for some more. And it's Friday tomorrow. Oh, Jesus. It's Friday tomorrow. How nice is not that? <laughs> Good night, my sweet pudding. <laughs> oh. So good. <laughs> Art, uh, Art3S91, yeah, it's a 30 minute stream every day. So uh, you can join in every day at the same time. There's a massive YouTube archive if you want to dive into that. Um, so have fun, man. And women. Okay. Bye, everyone. Stay, I comes down,